Do you meditate? At one point, I, I felt I had reached a state of clear, right? Which so is I, what? Which is a, in, in Scientology, I guess, is an area where you kind of, you're one with all, see all, know all. <laughs> at least that's the way I interpreted it you, at you the time. You got to that state? I thought I had. And, or I had, from time to time, reached that state, especially as an athlete. Sometimes you just feel that you're in total control of your surroundings and can literally will everything around you to happen. Clear so, is just your... Clear is your... Um, as I saw it, is seeing it all, knowing it all, feeling that you're in total control of everything, but seeing it all, seeing the complete picture and feeling that you can control that picture. For me, that's what it was. Yeah. Feeling that I was one with everything. The pulse of everybody is is being controlled by your pulse. Wow. By you, you know, and it's it's an interesting feeling to have. It's very godlike. Yeah. I think because you have such control over your body, you have such control over your mind? Um, I think my I am better control at this point over my mind than my body. Now, the game is going to be right there. And I was just saying, if you're going to shoot, you guys may want to, you can stand anywhere in here, maybe up at this gate, once we're there. Is uh, that where your daughter is? Yeah, pull up a little bit. She's playing basketball? Yeah, but the game hasn't started because I don't see the other team. Oh, you mean they're playing out here? Yeah. See? Where's your daughter? She's number 30. And do the other kids ever ask her about, you know, what you... No, nah, nobody would do that. These, they don't? These kids, you'll see, they're all... All the girls wanted me to coach the team. <laughs> Did your daughter I'd ever ask you about it? No. She never no. asked you about the murders? Never at all. She never mentioned it? Never mentioned it once. Not even my son. No. Never mentioned it? Never once. Don't you want to sit down and talk to them? No. And say, listen, you may hear things about Daddy? Not at all. You never want to talk about it? No. I think you better. No. Well, you know, I go to... Uh, I know you want it to be a shrink, but I've gone through the best shrinks and child psychologists, and they, they don't said, advise that. They said <laughs> never mention it? No, no, let them bring it up. Let Only them, in Beverly Hills. talk about it. Yeah, well, well, possibly let the kids do it. Don't force feed them any of this stuff. Right. Yeah. Is this, like what a, school is this? Uh, this is actually the church Nicole was buried this in. I mean, her funeral thing was right here. Hey, is anybody going to make a basket here for me? Okay, let's go. But can somebody have one flash when they don't know what's going on? Can you? Yeah. I think I could, you could. I'm sure with your personality, you could. I could? You mean if the light suddenly went out, I'd do something horrible? You? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Ask Ed. And do you think that's like you being his agent and stuff? Do you, do you hold that in your mind that that's a possibility? Of course. Yeah. You know, it's... It has been thought about. Yeah. I mean, as an agent, did you ever ask him? Yeah. And? Did I ever ask him if he did it? Yeah. Sure, I asked him. And what happens? Does he hate it? No, he looked at me like this. He said, I did not kill Nicole. Right. He stared into my eyes, and I never asked him again. Yeah, because you knew not to ask him. No, I didn't know not to ask him. I just, I had asked him. Something. You know, it's like you go rent Primal Fear and you look at Primal Fear. Oh, you mean the movie Primal sure. Fear? Yeah. And Richard Gere said that I believe that I believe in the goodness of man. Yeah. I believe that all crimes are not committed by bad people, and I believe that sometimes really good people do really bad things. And I try to judge O.J. by everything I've always known about him. Right. You know what I've judged over nine years, not judging him by one day. Right. But judging him over a lifetime. Is Nicole the type that could have riled him up that much? I don't know. Yeah, you know, that's a tough question. Cause because you think there's on all of us a moment where we snap. Absolutely. Where we're all capable of murder? Yes. You do. You said last night, you said even some of the cops said whether you didn't do it or whether you did do it, you were still definitely frank. Frank, yeah. Yeah, I mean, some of the sheriff's department and a couple of LAPD officers said that. since then that said, and it's an argument that I've made since, since, and I agree with, that I don't care if you think I did it or if you think I didn't do it, you've got to admit I was frank. <laughs> what happened is they were trying to get um, in my house. 
So Furman did a couple of little things he needed to do to get in my house. But why get in your house? I really don't understand. To. Well, well you, got, you, got a, you, got a, you, you saw all the testimony. You got five police officers standing for a half hour outside of my wall with nothing to do. Right. They, they, they got bodies at the other crime. They're not at the other crime. They're standing outside of my wall what? trying to figure a way to get over my wall to see what I'm doing in my house. But, and then well, when did he think of dropping a glove in the back of your house? Because once they found out I was in Chicago, they, they found still out they could, got in then the they should have left. Then they should have left. But they want to search the house. Right. And that's when he came and brought a found a reason to search the house. The glove gave him a reason to search the house. Then, I wonder when Furman, I mean, if you were going through this in your mind, and I'm sure you've gone through it a thousand times, thought of picking up the other glove, going into your house and dropping it. I mean, that's an unbelievable thing to do. They needed a reason to get in my house. It happens all the time. It's just something that police do. They cover each other's ass. You saw the movie Serpico. It's happened time and time again. Well, they have to it's discuss just, it. It's a complicated thing to carry a glove and a hat and a uh, thing. No, no, you don't have to. You don't have to discuss it. Well, you, you don't know. do it by osmosis. Yes, they do. You ever been around a police? I mean, it's like a football team. Things happen in a football team. We don't have to discuss. Everybody covers for everybody. Who do you I think did it then? I've always said the answer's with Faye Rusnick. In the world of Faye Rusnick, her drugs, it's just too coincidental that she's had two friends in the past, one for sure, and then I don't know what happened with her sister, who were murdered mysteriously. That, that, that never and, came and, out? And, and, no, never came out. Her and her husband ran. They ran out of the country. They left the country uh, when these people died, and she came back uh, a while later and got married and changed her name. Um, she that was... week, she gets kicked out of her house. She moves in with Nicole. We find out that for the first time in years or whatever, she's totally hooked on drugs that she's been doing for two months. She's totally broke. Uh, she moves in with Nicole. Nicole's dead four days later. Plus, an hour or two before Nicole's death, Nicole's on the phone crying. Now, it's a woman that never cried. Even when she called the police those two times, she weren't crying. She may have sound scared and all that. She wasn't crying. She's crying, talking to Faye on the phone. Why is she crying, talking to Faye? Why? If she's dead, I don't know. But whatever reason she was crying, talking to Faye on the phone is why, to me, is directly related can, to her. Can I death. ask you a question? Yeah. The other two murders that were related to Faye, do drug dealers uh, do such brutal murders? Don't they just shoot them? Um, I think I mean, do historically, they sever, do they sever heads? It, 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 historically, and once again, they brought this up in court that I'm not necessarily a supporter of, but historically, what they do do is cut your throat. They do the tongue tie thing. You know? Drug dealers do yeah. that? It'd be so easy, you know, to so just what? wrap it up. Now, if we can catch him, that would wrap it up. The, Why don't you get your hands come. on Faye and say, come on? <laughs> they have me in jail tomorrow. I don't mean your hands. I mean, just talk to her. Oh, she won't. She's hiding. This is uh, the infamous air, uh, murders right oh, there. That's where Nicole lived? That's where she lived. Does that's that disturb that you to see it? You know, it doesn't. You know, I thought it would, and so I don't have a visual. I don't have a visual thing about it. In court, whenever they put pictures up of the bodies, I never looked at a picture. So I've never seen a picture of the bodies in, right. in, in front of that. Even the video thing, my lawyers would say there, and I would kind of look off to the you calendar. Don't and stuff. Well, I don't want that image. I don't want to have that, you but know, to live you... the rest of my life with that picture of Nicole dead on the sidewalk, bleeding. I don't, I couldn't live with, didn't want to, and don't want to live with that picture. Do you sometimes get a picture anyway? No, Cause even... no, I don't, not at all. Mm. It was tough at times in court, sometimes they hear them talking about it, and I, I think with some of the few times that I would try to emotionally and physically Close and mentally down. go elsewhere. Yeah. Go elsewhere. But sometimes it's tough to shut it out, because at where you want to know, you know, where you want to know what, what happened or what they're surmising happen at the same time you don't want to know it. You know, it's not, it's just not a picture. It's just not a picture but you want to carry. you know that the person stabbed her from the back? I know that's a, that's what the guy said, yeah. And um, I would imagine that if anyone had their throat cut, normally it's from the back, at least from every movie I've ever seen. Right. I've never, I guess I saw one thing where the guy had some sort of a machete. Well, you can go like this. Kind of but well, I, I, from what I gathered, she died from a cut throat, not from a stab wound. Uh, so anyway, but I didn't, um, I, I never saw that picture and didn't want to. Right. But for the first time, I inadvertently, I actually coming back from the restaurant, inadvertently was driving by, and because normally I go down that way, and um, and was surprised that I had really no reaction. And I've even driven by with a film crew. Really? Since then, with a German and there's nothing. film crew, no reaction.